Well, hello everybody. Um, this is Mark talking to you from the library photocopier here. And we've been getting some requests lately about how to scan to your email. And uh, recently we had this feature on our office copier, but um, some things were changed in our email program and it no longer works. But we were able to get it up and running here in the library and I want to show you how it works. So let's say here that I have a have a book here. I don't know what this is. This is one of Mr. Latham's books. But I want to make a scan copy of that for use in a class or for a presentation or something. So I'm going to put it down on the copier, close the lid, and uh, using the panel here, um, we can make a scan copy of that that automatically gets sent to my email. So I'm going to get started on this by pressing the, the function button here. And there it goes. And you'll see that there are a number of choices here. Um, once again, we have our old favorite copy, but we also have email. So I'm going to press the email button, and uh, up pops this dialog. And, and here are some recipient, um, a place where you can add in you know, all the people that you want to receive this. And, and that's handy in case you, know, you want to send this out to m multiple people. But um, in this instance, I just want to send it to myself. So here on the side we have uh, the keyboard button. I'm going to type in my email address and that is g-r-i-f-f-i-n-m at m-c-a dot o-r-g dot t-w. And all of you should know your email. So check up top, make sure that you're typing it in correctly. Here it says you're sending it to this address and that looks right so I'm happy with that and um, and so I'm gonna hit close and now you can see on the recipient list that you have to Griffin M at mca.org.tw that's exactly what we want okay so looking across the tabs at the top we have a general settings and this is where you can set uh, if you want it in color or black since uh, the cover of this book is in color I want color um, it is a one-sided copy um, I've done some experimenting with this photo versus text and it doesn't seem to make any difference in the, in the program which, which it's set at. So I've just been leaving it at text. Um, and then over here, uh, once again, another setting that doesn't seem to really matter a whole lot. I think PDF tends to be the most useful setting, although perhaps uh, TIFF JPEG would be useful too. Uh, definitely stick away from doc stay away from DocuWorks. Um, we don't have the software to handle those files and this multi-page TIFF um, generates a very massive file that's difficult to email. So I would definitely stay away from those two and lean towards these, but my preference is PDF. Okay, on the next tab here we have image quality. Um, if you really want a high resolution copy, you can come in here and, and fix some of these things. Once again, I just leave it as it is. Layout adjustment, once again, some more odd things. Uh, but for what we're going to use here today, this is fine. And uh, output format. We can uh, change a few things there if you want to compress the image. And I think the settings just in general are fine. So we'll go back to the email tab. And uh, with everything set, I have my recipient there. I'm going to come over and I'm going to press the start key. And you'll see that the, the scan happens on the, on the platter there and then the de device beeps. But what's strange about sending to scan is that nothing prints. So it might be a little off-putting to do this process and then go, hey, nothing's happening. But remember, it's being sent to your email. So we'll come over here. I've set up my email. You can pretend that I've walked all the way across the school to my office, opened up my email, and let's see if it, if it has arrived yet. And keep in mind too that uh, the, the copier is you know, dealing with this image, it's bundling it up as a PDF, and then it's sending through cyberspace. So it does take a minute, You've gotta be patient. Let's try it again. And ta-da, look at that. I have an email from MAK Fax, and it's scanned data from Library Xerox. So let's open this up and see how it looks. And uh, the, the good stuff down here is the attachment. So I'm going to click download. Hopefully this worked. And open. Here we go. Let's see. She's coming. And look at that. 
There's the cover of the book I just scanned, and it's now ready for you to, uh, to use in your lesson or send on for other, other things. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's how to do this. Now, I can already see that some of you are leaning into your computers and saying, but wait a minute, what if I want to send multiple, um, multiple documents in one shot? You know, do I have to do this whole process for every single page? You know, like what if I have a 10 page document? Ah, good question. So let's go back here. Photocopy is still set up. My book is still inside. Let's say we want to make a multi-page document out of this. So um, same, same procedure. Um, I'm going to type in my address. We'll make this fast. And I have to do this because it won't let me uh, proceed if I don't have an email inside. And uh, go figure, I bumped something. Griffin. All right, there we go. So now Griffin M is selected to Griffin M. I can hit close. Aha, now it has my name here. Okay, so when I go to general settings and I make sure it says PDF, this is fine. We'll set it up to color. And now I'm going to hit start. But watch what's happening. When it starts to go, this is the, this is the, the screen that pops up when you are actually scanning. And here on the side it says last original or next original. And as soon as I came over and I pressed the start button, it, the copier is going to assume that you're only doing one page. So last original is the default setting. So really quickly I typed next original and that kind of puts your foot in the door saying, wait a minute, I've got more to do. So it's done the scan um, and now I'm going to Flip the book over for my second page. I'll straighten it out here so it looks pretty. Line it up. Close the top. And now I can do um, start. And when I'm done, all finished, let's say this was just a two page document, I can click stop and it will send it. So it puts me back to the opening screen and we're all done. So in a few moments on my email, I'm going to get a, an email from MAK Fax stating that I have a two-page document. And there you go. That's how you scan to email from the library copier. Enjoy.